Welcome, this is Judy Sardin, and I wanted to introduce you to these wonderful math flashcards that I stumbled upon. I was looking for some flashcards that looked like the number bonds that my kids were learning in Singapore math. I really like these number bonds because they show the relationship between numbers. So instead of just doing a 1 plus 1 equals 2, 1 plus 2 equals 3, 1 plus 3 equals 4, and then turning around after you've learned all your addition facts, then turning around and learning all of your subtraction facts separately. I, I like the number bonds approach also. I guess it just shows the relationship between numbers. And so I was looking for something like that. And I stumbled upon these, and they are really great. And they've actually helped tremendously with learning of the math facts. They're a little more fun, I think, than your typical math flashcard. So I will, uh, let me show you how they work. Okay, so this is what the addition and subtraction cards look like. And how you operate them is really quite easy. If you're not familiar with these at all, um, you'll see that they make total sense. So the two blue numbers at the bottom represent addition. So we have 10 plus zero. What does it equal? The answer is at the top, it equals 10. Now we look at the number at the top and we can subtract the number at the bottom. So 10 minus zero equals what? 10. And before we did 10 minus 10 equals zero. Likewise, we have two plus 12 or 12 plus two. What does it equal? 14. 14 minus 12 equals two and 14 minus two equals 12. We continue with um, another card. So we have nine plus three, what does it equal? It equals 12. Similarly, 12 minus three, what does it equal? Nine and 12 minus nine equals three. One of the things that I like about these is it's not just looking at a flashcard and you've got to memorize it, but for kids who are who need the need to touch and feel like my daughter, the movement, holding it in her hand, covering things up, that helps her to learn. So it's not just look at the card, say the number, and put it down. So here we are with the multiplication and division problems. It really works the very same as the additional as the addition and subtraction problems. So we have at the bottom is the multiplication problem and going from the top to the bottom is your division problem. So here's nine times six, what is it? It's 54. Now what's 54 divided by nine? It's six. What's 54 divided by six? It's nine. So again, I just have my daughter work on a handful of these these both um, the addition and subtraction goes up to 12 and I believe the multiplication and division do as well they go up to multiplying and dividing by 12 then we have the fact family boards now these are pretty large actually you can see they're much larger than the other ones and so you as the parent can write at, on the bot on the bottom whatever number facts you want you can have the child make up their own math facts there and then have them fill out you can use these with a these are like whiteboard and you can just use a dry erase marker so you can easily erase them and then have the child make up their own math facts and then fill in the problems for addition and subtraction so that they can see and it really helps solidify the relationship between the numbers and also it built, brings in the the touch and feel aspect for kids who need it so here you are and uh, you can follow my affiliate link below mm -hmm.